Hi, I am Rupankar Bhattacharya. So, I was very young when I first started making artworks and all. And, uh, like, uh, I always got in inspiration from my father because uh, he was from engineering background and uh, from there I uh, got the inspiration. Like, it was, it was class 3 when I first started making electronic stuff like uh, battery operated fans, remote control cars and all those stuff. So, uh, when I first started, you know, like, uh, these were, it, it, it was the first, actually I'm very much fascinated with motorcycles and stuff. So, it was the first motorcycle, you know, like, uh, I thought of making out of junk and this one is very special for me because uh, I was giving my uh, 12th uh, final examinations and uh, I was sitting in my study table and I was studying. But uh, at that particular moment I just took a break and I, I was watching the Jurassic Park movie and somewhere the dinosaur, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, it inspired me and uh, my father used to take medicines and he used to throw out the foil and somewhere I used to collect them I, and I some I just tried you know like sculpting this and gradually when I started sculpting all these things and you know I actually you know like got interested on the miniature artworks and I started making miniature artworks it's a Taj Mahal which I tried sculpting out of wood and like it comes up on your fingertip if, if you can see this you can it comes up on your fingertip so now I'm holding one of my most favorite artwork uh, you know like this is my favorite because it's uh, one of the smallest one I ever created and you can see if you give a close look to it you can see that it's a ship on a nail head the base is made out of wood and the sail supports you see these are strips of wood and the sails the white sails which you see out here these are made out of paper and the ropes which are tied to the sail you see it's made out of hair it's my hair i just chopped it into small pieces and i as i had a taste of going through the international artworks i thought i had a thought that you know like why not to take local and make it global so this is the first thing that actually i have uh, no no like I thought of doing and uh, then I started studying and doing research regarding the as because I am born and brought up out here in Assam Guwahati I always had the thing in mind that you know like I need to do something which actually that that Assam that Assam is famous for you know and, and take it to that level where people start knowing them because there are a lot of things which Assam has and actually we the Assam Assamese people we actually don't know about it like for example the Majuli masks. The Majuli masks are very much popular internationally, but out here, there's very less people know about the, like the details regarding the Majuli. They know that Majuli is there and is generally called as Mukha Shilpo. So that Mukha Shilpo is followed, and there are a lot of wildlife species that needs to be, you know, like taken out from this, and we need to take it to the global level. And how to do it? That was the point. So you can find a small turtle sitting on the tip of a toothpick. So it's a toothpick and uh, it was World Turtle Day when I uh, sculpted this turtle out of clay and if you can give a detailed look to it, a close look, you'll find that there is a monkey uh, sitting on the top of a toothpick and uh, this is made out of clay and I it was made on the Hulok Gibbon day. It's a Hulok Gibbon. It's just that people should not only concentrate on Japi, Kamusa, Dhol, Pepa and Rhino because there are a lot of other animal species, there are thousands of other animal species which Northeast has, which Assam has especially and, and uh, whenever, whenever you go outside India, it's, it's just a Rhino, it's not Assam Rhino but there are a lot of animals which are, you know, like names are attached to them like for example, the turtle, the Assam Roof Turtle the name of Assam is attached to that animal but you never say that it's Assam Rhino or something like that Rhino is Rhino, it's one horn Rhino but somewhere the animals which have impact the animals other than rhino like we don't have to make rhino the flagship species we have other species we have to make all the species united and we have to have that awareness of protecting them conserving the environment and this is this is the thing which i think the motive should be